Jenny Martin from southernsavers.com. The last time that we got together, we chatted about ways to organize your coupons with the least amount of time required and the least amount of just energy all put together. Simple, simple way to go. This time, there's a different way to organize for every single person. So I really want to talk about how to organize, I guess really the extreme crazy way. You can do it. I don't want to say that one way is worse than another. But the things that we're going to talk about today are definitely the more time consuming. Um, and I don't know if ultimately they save you any more money. So as we go through this, keep that in the back of your mind. This is not what you have to do. It is what you can do, and it's just options that are out there. Um, for what I would encourage you to do, that's really last week's video. Um, this is just the next step if you needed to go there, if that just was not working for you. So to go into those. First, there are just some people who have to cut coupons. You cannot handle not cutting the coupons the way that we talked about. So this method, we're cutting everything. When you get your Sunday insert, I need you to cut every single one of those coupons. If you are not going to keep the insert whole, then we've got to cut them all. Why all of them? I know normally you're sitting down and you're just starting to coupon and you're thinking, but I don't want to buy half of the stuff that is in this insert. I need you to cut them all. There are going to be some amazing deals. There are going to be things that you never thought you would buy before that are now free or maybe they cost 10 cents. All of a sudden, you're going to have new products that you love, things that you never would have thought to try, but now the price is so good, you definitely want the coupon. Then there are other things that, no, I have no need for Depends ever. I hope that I can go to heaven before I need Depends, but there will be a day that you make money to buy a pack of Depends. You're only going to make money if you cut the coupon. So we have to cut them all. Um, when we come down to cut them all, there are two options that I would recommend for folks who just have to cut a coupon. The first is going with a category system. Um, this is usually for folks, it's in a box. Um, I've seen folks do it in a lunch box or a shoe box. But what we're doing here is we're taking the canceled check file and we are making this canceled check file um, which normally has 12 or 13 pockets in it, we are going to let it have 40, whatever the category number is that works for you. Um, but we are going to, instead of having dry goods, we're going to have baked goods and condiments and desserts and canned goods and box dinners. You're just going to break it down into tiny, tiny segments of the store. This way, I don't have 150 coupons to look through as I sit there and go through that category. I've got maybe 10 or 12 coupons in each little category, much faster to go through as you're getting ready for your shopping trip. Now, how do I use this system? You're going to sit down, you're going to cut your weekly insert, just cut it all up, sit in the middle of your living room floor if that's what you need to do, and just put the categories around you all over the floor, and then take each category and shove it in. So it's fairly fast. It's still going to take you a good 45 minutes. Some ways to make this kind of modify it for you. I have seen people put this exact system in a three ring binder. They're going to use the three ring binder and they're going to use photo card sheets, uh, like five by seven photo sheet um, slips, and you're going to use those as categories. So instead of having one coupon per little sheet, like I'm going to show you in a second, we've got the entire canned goods and baked goods and box dinners, they're all in their own little slip. It's really whatever works for you. It is a category system, however you want to call it and whatever you want to put it in. When I did this system, and I've tried every single thing we're going through, I did it in this particular 3x5 index card box because it fit in my purse and it was simple and easy for me. Also because they sold 3x5 index card dividers and I didn't have to spend a lot of time thinking it up. Um, but you can get super creative with these. You can make it work for you. The next step from there is for folks that just organization is your life and it's just what you have to do and that is a true coupon binder and when we look at a coupon binder we're not talking photo card sheets here a true coupon binder is coupons that are stored in baseball card sheets so that you can see what you have and you can see it super super fast um, for most of us we're women and we look at this and we think oh it's organized I have to have that no 
Um, this is organized, yes, but what the person is not telling you when you see them in the store is that they spent a good two hours to get everything in here. It is coupon origami every Sunday. You are going to sit down and you're going to fold each and every single one of these little coupons to get it in this little pocket and it's going to take you a long time. I just want to tell you point blank how this works. I have nothing against this system, but this is the number one reason why people get burnt out in couponing. You just cannot keep this going forever. Not going to happen. Um, if you want to do it, great. Is it going to save you more money? No. It is not going to save you any more money over any other system. It is just a different way to organize your coupons. Now a lot of folks go here because they felt like, wow, I was really forgetting to use coupons. I was forgetting that I had them, I was forgetting where they were, and now I could see them all. And if that's what you want to do, you can try it. You can see if it helps. In the end, if I forget to use a coupon, odds are I didn't need the item anyway. I was only going to get the item because I had the coupon and maybe it wasn't on a great sale. If it's on a great sale, you will have that in your coupon matchup every week. You're not going to miss the item. Um, if you're worried about that, then put it towards the front in a, a, a coupon folder or in a box. But you don't have to go here. I would almost urge you to make this like a last resort if you're just really feeling like everything else is not working. Now, I, I have not been able to convince you you're going to go here. What do you need to do? What I would recommend is finding a three ring binder that has two sections. Um, if you're going to go here, you might as well just go all out. So two three ring sections. Why I want you to do this? I want you to have one half that is all grocery. The other half is all drugstore. So that when I go into the drugstore, I only need to really deal with household and personal care and drugs. I don't really need to deal with food very often. I, I've, I've got it all split up. The second thing that your binder still needs, I'm still going to have to have categories. So we're getting tab um, dividers. It's the same concept here. You're going to put them into categories of location in the store. So we haven't really strayed from any of the other coupon um, organizational methods. We're just differing it slightly. We've got our, uh, and then our baseball card sheets. You can buy all of this at any office supply store or Walmart for that matter. You do not have to go crazy. You do not have to buy a kit that is put together for you on the internet. Honestly guys, this is so much cheaper to just make yourself. One other thing when you're looking for a binder, I would recommend finding a binder that also has an accordion file system in it. So that if I've got my coupons cut but I have no time to do my origami to get them in those pockets, I can still keep them with me. Um, I've got this Sunday cut, they're in this little pocket and I can at least look through that if I had to in the store. The last thing that this binder has to do, it must zip up. If your coupon binder does not zip up, you already do this, you need to get a new binder. Go to the store now. Do not ever hand this to a child in the middle of the store because they will hold it upside down and all of the coupons, they fall right out the top and you will cry. It will be a very tough moment in your life. So it must zip up. Again, to go back over these all four, one last time for you. The first option, which is the best option, that is an accordion file folder. We're not cutting anything. 30 minutes to get ready for a trip, maybe 30 minutes in the store. Then we have a canceled check file. When we use an accordion file, we need something with that system to keep the uncut coupons. You can use this primarily just for your couponing, but you're not going to have all the coupons with you and it's not really going to work very well. Just use this with the accordion file. Third option is to do a category system. Max amount of time, it's going to take you about 45 minutes to get them all cut in there. In the store, it depends. If you still get ready for a trip, it's going to take you about 30 minutes in the store. But if you do not pull your coupons before you go shopping, this is going to take you a lot of time in the store. And the last option in terms of time, this is going to take a good hour and a half to two hours. And in the store, most folks that have a binder do not get their coupons together before they go to a store. They walk aimlessly around the store, they flip through, they find their coupon, they find their product. Most shoppers using this system are in the store for about an hour and a half as well. I mean, it's just 
honest to your guys. So if you go to this system, promise me that you will still pull your coupons before you go to the store and just shop like a normal person with a normal shopping list. Nobody has four hours to give couponing um, during a normal week. We need to make this the least amount of time possible so that it's something that you can do forever, not just something that you can do just a crazy hobby right now. Um, but those are four options and four ways to organize your coupons. We go into more depth with them on Southern Savers as well. You can read some more articles about them uh, or you can always send me an email as well if you have questions on organization.